Hi, I'm Jennifer and today I'm going to show you how to dye yarn. I've actually never done this before so hopefully it turns out for me. I have here, I've looped it into a loose skein and tied it in a couple places and it's some super wash wool in kind of a cream color. I'm going to try to dye it blue and for that you are going to need a pair of gloves and the gloves are just to keep your hands from getting colored from using the dye so it's not critical that you have gloves. I have some distilled white vinegar because you need an acid. Um, my vinegar actually expired uh, August 2010 so hopefully it still works. We'll see. Um, I have a tablespoon and that's just to measure the vinegar. Um, I'm going to use about one tablespoon per cup of water in my dye bath of vinegar. You need food coloring and I have a couple different colors here. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to use the blue from the neon dye. That is a more pure blue than just regular blue dye. Um, the regular blue dye actually has a little bit of, I believe it's red in it. So I just want the pure blue dye which is why I'm going to use the neon. Um, first step is to take your yarn and submerse it into just plain water and you're going to let this soak for about a half an hour. Um, the reason to do that is because soaking the yarn helps get rid of the bubbles that might be in the, in the yarn, just like little pockets of air. So it's going to help the dye adhere better. So we're going to leave this for about a half an hour and then come back and move on. Okay, the yarn has been soaking for a while now and I'm ready to go ahead and start the dyeing process. I'm going to start by adding first some vinegar and then I will add the food coloring. And since I'm being brave, I'm just going to go ahead and just add those components right to this dye bath directly with the yarn in it. So, set that down. I'm going to grab my distilled white vinegar. And I think I have about four cups of water in here. So I'll add about four tablespoons. And I've got that going. I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir. And On second thought, I think I'll take the yarn out and then I will add food coloring. So, remember to wear your gloves if you want to avoid getting dye on your hands. I'm going to go ahead and using the neon dyes, I'm going to use only the blue. And let's see, one, two, three. That was about 15 drops of blue dye. It actually doesn't matter how much water you use as long as the yarn is covered. What matters is the proportion of dye to the amount of yarn that you have. Okay, it's a really, really nice blue color. Um, I think that should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the yarn. And I'm going to get my stove going. Ooh, it looks so pretty already. So. Okay. You might hear a charming little song. That is my son, who's four months old, playing on his little jungle mat. And he's found the music the music playing animal. <laughs> so we are going to let this simmer and I will be back shortly. Okay, the yarn is just about ready to come to a simmer. Um, you can see kind of how hot it is. I guess you can hear because it's sizzle, the water is sizzling against the sides of the pan. So once it comes to a simmer, we're just going to keep it at that level. Um, probably for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'll see how it is probably in about 15 minutes and we'll go from there. Okay, the yarn's been simmering for just over 15 minutes 
And actually, I'm pretty pleased with how clear the water is. I'm going to turn the stove off. You can see that the water is clear. So what I'm going to do now, because um, I'm pretty satisfied with the color, I like, I like how it turned out. I'm going to just let the yarn cool in the water, but once it's cooled, I'll get back to you. Okay, our dye bath has now cooled, and um, I can touch the yarn without it, or I can touch the water without it getting burned. So I'm gonna bring this over to the sink, and using a colander, I am going to press the water out of the yarn, one-handed if I can. Just kind of gently squeeze and put it into the colander. You can see that water is clear. And we're going to turn on the tap and rinse the yarn out. And you should be able to tell my sink is pretty white um, if there's any dye running off this. don't see any color running off then eh, maybe maybe a little bit um, very little if any now though it's just a touch of dish soap normal dish soap that was probably too much and this is super washable so I actually don't have to worry so much about it felting And there you have it. Um, the color I'm aiming, I was aiming for was kind of a sky blue, so I'm actually pretty pleased at how this turned out. I love it. Uh, thanks for watching.